Hi, this is uh, Steve, one of the programmers from Pint DMD project. And today I will show you how to use uh, the actual prototype of uh, the Go DMD editor um, to define custom colors that can be matched um, by specific uh, frames. Uh, to use colorized uh, DMD displays or scenes. Originally, the DMD, uh, the Go DMD editor was made uh, to get uh, DMD scenes uh, running on the Go DMD clock. But I've uh, developed an extension that can be used to colorize uh, DMD scenes from all kind of DMD pinball machines. First you have to load uh, a recorded uh, DMD uh, session either by recording it with a special version of the uh, pin MAME uh, DLL or second newly introduced you can also use um, a USB PCAP tool to capture all USB output uh, for instance, while playing uh, virtual pinball with uh, PinDIM the output enabled and then capturing what uh, PinDIM D sends to uh, PinDIM D controller via USB. In this case, I use a pre recorded session uh, with a special version of um, uh, PinMame DLL and I recorded the file while playing Doctor Who and now we can just take a, a look on the on the recording as you can see it's just a normal startup and uh, there are few controls counting frames on the top counting and time code on the top right of course a, pu a preview display and what's new in this case it's uh, the different uh, tags for each scene and also the palette editor here on the lower right so if you want to colorize a special scene we just stop the automatic playback and use this slider here to select the scene somehow let's say we want to colorize uh, the scene where uh, this time stream or Doctor Who logo comes in. So we go to the start of the scene. We cannot use the empty screen of course because uh, the empty screen has always the same hashtag. We cannot use this as a keyframe. So we go one frame further. Use this as the keyframe. In this case we use plane one as the keyframe. This is a different uh, hashtag. And now we define um, a custom palette for the scene so we make a new palette selecting this new palette and for instance choose to use let's say yellow in the first place and then doing a mark start for the beginning of the scene it's uh, used with uh, this hashtag and palette default one so we go a little bit uh, further we have the Doctor Who logo and then finally decide on what uh, colors to use maybe this yellow is too bright we choose to do it a little bit um, darker and let's say we're using some kind of um, a pink or purple and yellow in this case. So this is also um, as we see the end of the scene because it's scrolling away now. Then we mark the end of the scene by clicking mark end and in the end we choose cut. When we choose cut we have another scene here in the uh, scene list uh, control on the left and then we can uh, repeat the same steps 
um, for many see as many scenes as we like. So we go forward and maybe choose to use uh, another different color set on another scene, let's say on the Bali logo, which is somewhere uh, behind top Mavericks. So here comes the Bali logo. So we step to the first frame that is interesting in this case. Let's say this one. Again, we're using one of the two planes as keyframe, doing a mark start, scrolling a little bit. And now we use just different um, types of green, for instance, or let's say different types of blue. So the darkest one like this, more brighter one like this, and the brightest one like this. So we have different colors of blue. Oh, no, it's got a mistake. Uh, um, I redefined palette one, which is not good. So we first have to do a new palette, palette uh, two. Or just name it, Bali, rename. So we have this palette now. And then we go um, a set mark start as I already done. Go to the end of the scene, which is where the Bali logo is fully shown. Do a mark end and do another cut. Of course, we had to uh, restore the palette uh, default one that was uh, again changed uh, by accident. Uh, so we um, repair this by doing the colors again for the logo, let's say like this. Just an example, have, doesn't have to look nice. Uh, what is this ugly? So let's say red and these different kind of purple. Maybe like this. So and um, in the end, you simply say save project and now you can save the project for later use. as an uh, XML file. And of course, you can also save not an XML file, but uh, this kind of export that file. And you say Doctor Who dot DAT to save the compressed binary format that can be directly loaded into pin the DMD um, on startup or later on flashed into uh, the flash memory for use in the specific pinball game. So we're doing this and then we have um, a project where you can use uh, the editor to define palettes define scenes, colorize scenes, and in the end export uh, this kind of binary file for uses pin to DMD. So that's basically it for the first uh, thing. Um, there's more. You can also load uh, palettes or import palettes, uh, predefined palettes uh, that have uh, been uh, defined uh, upfront, for instance, uh, in context from Smart DMD and stuff like that. And, um, but the basic functionality you already seen.